I wonder what's in our bag today. Well, we're going to take a deep dive into the inventory slash bag system on Lunar Rebirth. Hello all, my name is Daniel and welcome to Twisted Geek. And of course, this is my new obsession that is Lunar Rebirth. We're going to go in and take a full look of the inventory. Here we have four little sections here. We've got the item, equip, card and artifact slot. This cache at the beginning is something you get for an event. I started a new character and restaurant by mistake before and this seems to still be there. So I think this might be like a starting thing so you can get a few little items and after a little while it disappears. Or just part of the event that was going on at the time. This item here is some shards you can get for a wood familiar card. You get lots of different kind of ones of these that can build up and give you the specific card. You need 20 of these to get it and when you can't, when you do, it merges and you get a level 1 SSSR card. You can get this for cards for your characters as well as pets. As you can see here, the Shrew Marshal, that is one of the pets. And slowly building up that, you get that from some rewards that happens daily, as long as you hit the target for it. You also do have the separate randomised SSR puzzle pieces, shards, whatever you want to call them, for both your pets and cards for your characters. Again, as soon as you get the 20 of these, you can merge them, and this gives you a random card and a random pet. The other item we have here, which you can get as well, which you can buy from some of the shops, is your pet experience pack which gives you 100,000 experience for your pet. So other than the expedition area, from what I can gather, the only other way to get experience for your pet is by getting these vials and opening them. You can get these from the shop, both in the 100,000 form and the 20,000. This Not of Fate is an item that lets you limit break your character, which I covered slightly in a previous video. These wish chests, I have a few of them, and it says you need the wish domain to open them. I'm not entirely sure what the wish domain is at the moment, but once I figure that out, I will definitely put it in. Hopefully I might be able to figure it out before I get this video posted. So I'm just going to quickly interrupt that because I actually have now figured out the wish domain. As you can see here, I've got two slots at the bottom of my inventory which are unlocked. This is actually the wish domain. I previously ignored this. I personally thought it was just different inventory pages that you can unlock via a paywall. So I didn't bother clicking on them, just totally ignored them. And I had these items called Space Fragment Shards in my inventory as seen just a couple of seconds ago there and I'll show you it in the shop in a moment and then you click on this lock icon and then you have one there click OK on it and it'll unlock that slot you can then take the chest that you've, I've got there I had a purple one and I've got loads of blue ones which I've unlocked which I've unlocked from daily tasks and that'll give you a random item as you can see in this case I've got an SSR fragment piece and I've got some un upgrading portions this is where I got one of them from in the shop here, the grocery store. It cost me a thousand coins to get it. So I thought, based on the description of it, that it would actually unlock the wish domain for me. And I clicked on it and nothing happened. Because you've actually got to click on that lock, lock icon at the bottom. I also got my second one from reaching VIP 5, I think it was. And that was one of the rewards for getting VIP 5. And that was just going through this 14 day daily task I've got. Plus daily tasks you get, uh, the venture tasks which then give you extra VIP points and level you up. So there we go, that is what the wish domain is. I stupidly overlooked it. There was nothing online or anything out there that let me know what it was and how to access it. I'd had to figure it out myself and I just thought it was something completely different. Anyway, back to the main content. These letters here are part of one of the events that are going on. As you can see here, you can exchange these individually or for the full word Luna, they get extra rewards. This is just one of them events that seem to be running Every now and again, I'm guessing there's going to be different events coming up with different items and different rewards for them. Next up, we have the equipment slot. In here, you have all your weapons and armor. The armor is shared between all characters, so it's the same for all of them, whereas the weapons are different for each character. Once you get enough of these, you can hit merge, go in and merge three of them together for a little bit of silver coins and upgrade them. Of course, once you get that to a high enough level and upgrade them enough, you will actually get to a level that you can use for your character. Or if you get the two of them and your character's already using one of them, you can go into your character role and it'll let you merge them together and upgrade the character. The third slot is the card slot. These cards can be attached to all your equipment. So all your armor, your weapons, it gives you extra bonuses and stats for them. These also can be merged. Every three you get, you can merge them and you can also recast them. So you can pick three and they can randomly generate a new card. As you see here, I've selected three of the level 1 purples, the SRs, and it gives you an idea of what you're going to get. 95% chance of getting another SR, and only a 5% chance of getting an SR. 
so it is quite low of a chance to get it and i got a centaurus card <laughs> not bad not bad at all i can't see that happen again not, not that fast but that was pretty awesome five percent chance i shall definitely take that and here we go this is where you can merge them all together as you see i'm clicking on all of them individually but there is a little select all day at the top that you can hit and that'll just get them all sorted very straight away and merge them all together once you do this as well you might actually be able to merge more afterwards because you just merged a few up all different stats different abilities for each one and of course as you get them up higher and higher you will get better stats from them some of them don't go past level three i believe that mushroom there and the plant at the beginning after you get that level three it doesn't actually go to a purple it's a completely different card from that but you can still recast them to get yourself a purple because if you recast the blues the most you can get is a purple an sr one but of course if you recast the srs the higher ones you get the more you, you recast it first so there we go try it again not really any luck at that time to get the ssr but i'm glad we got one on uh, whilst we're recording this and the first fourth slot sorry is the artifact i have not unlocked this yet this is still quite a ways away in the game from what i can tell over chapter 20 plus in order to get that so that's a long long way to go i don't think anyone on the server at the moment has actually got that far so here we go we'll go over to the character screen and see you've got artifact there and that look unlocks at chapter 25 so it's still quite a ways off but when i do get to that i will let you know and i will do another video on that we'll see what the artifacts actually are like but there's an overview for you of the bag slash backpack slash inventory system on Luna Rebirth. Please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. My name's been Daniel. This has been Twisted Geek. Hope you have an awesome week. Cheers.